Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and today we are making a simple and delicious mushroom pasta dish with peas, Parmesan cheese, lemon, and a little mushroom stock. This quick and easy dish is perfect for any night of the week. And as always, the ingredients will be listed down below. All right, and before we start prepping our ingredients, just go ahead and click that like button down below. And today for this dish, I'm gonna go into my pantry and I'm gonna use some dried spaghetti. Now the prep for this dish is pretty minimal. The only things you really have to cut are just some mushrooms, your shallots, and smash up your garlic. And when you're slicing your mushrooms, you wanna slice them all the same size so they all cook evenly. And then with the shallots, just go ahead and give it a nice small dice. And right now to be more efficient, as we're prepping, we should have a pot of water going on right now, getting ready to boil our pasta. Now you should always salt your pasta water. Now the sauce for this dish should take about as much time as the pasta takes to cook. And like I mentioned earlier, this mushroom pasta is very quick and delicious. So we're just starting right now with a hot pan, some butter and some olive oil. Now some people wanna know why we add oil to the butter. That's because it helps the butter not burn. Now this pan is set on high heat. And so we start sauteing our mushrooms first and then we're gonna slowly add our shallots in. Once the mushrooms get some color, give this a little bit of salt and pepper. And because we're dealing with such high heat, I like to get this going first, then add the garlic towards the end so it doesn't burn. And just keep sauteing your mushrooms and shallots and garlic until you start seeing the little brown bits on the bottom. That is flavor right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and deglaze our pan with a little bit of white wine. Be sure to scrape up all the brown bits. And then once the wine is pretty much evaporated, we're gonna add our mushroom stock. Now you can use vegetable or chicken stock in this dish as well. And as you can see, as the sauce is coming up to heat, I'm slowly whisking in the butter chunks to get a nice thick buttery emulsion just like this. Now you wanna cook the pasta to about one minute before the package instructions tell you when it's done because we're gonna finish cooking it in the sauce. Now as you can see here, everything is coming together very beautifully. The only thing we have to do next is to add our peas and we're gonna grate in some Parmesan cheese to make the sauce even thicker. I love the smell of mushrooms and white wine, and then you get this nuttiness from the Parmesan cheese. This dish is super awesome. And then just give this pasta a nice final stir to make sure everything gets incorporated. And here you can see I'm using my chopsticks and a ladle to plate the pasta, which is going to help this dish look nice and neat. All right, so now all we have to do is spoon on some of the peas, and the mushrooms. Now, this is not a very saucy dish because the sauce had all emulsified and it's coating the spaghetti. So you're getting more of a creamy pasta, not a saucy pasta. And then all we have to do now is just grate on some of the Parmesan cheese and a finishing touch. I like to grate some lemon zest on here. It's gonna help cut through the rich butter and the earthy mushrooms. All right, that's it, we're done. Let's head outside and look at this beautiful vegetarian mushroom pasta with our nice peas, our Parmesan cheese, our sauteed mushrooms, a little bit of lemon zest on top. This dish smells incredible. As you can see, our pasta dish is pretty light, but yet satisfying. I mean, our sauce is mushroom stock, a little bit of butter and some lemon juice. You should definitely give this recipe a try. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Be safe out there, and as always, peace.